Isabel. So today I have a video that was actually requested by you guys on Snapchat. So I asked you guys on Snapchat to send me your video request because I was like in a slump. I didn't know what to film. You guys sent me a bunch of requests. So I decided to kind of do like a mix of all those requests. I got a request to do a cat eye with a how to make your lips look bigger kind of thing. And I also got a request to do drugstore makeup tutorial and I also got requested to do kind of like fresh spring not too heavy makeup. So I got a lot of other requests but I think that those kind of tied in together best. If you guys requested something else I am probably going to do more videos like this soon. If you guys requested not makeup related videos then I'm going to be doing those soon as well. But this is the one the makeup tutorial I did so it is all drugstore products. I use all drugstore cruelty free products and I kept the skin very light so I'm not actually wearing foundation in this look I'm just wearing concealer no heavy contour and I did a very very bold statement cat eye and I showed you guys how to get fuller more luscious looking lips so if you guys would like to see how to get this look then please keep on watching alright guys so to begin I wanted to do a talk through with this video because I feel like I could explain things better. So I know my hair looks super goofy like this, but it's the only way I can really pin my hair back without ruining my waves. I already did my brows before this just because like you guys have seen me do my brows a million times, so I'm not gonna bore you with it. So I wanted to do kind of like a really fresh look and I wanted to keep a drugstore. And so I'm gonna be taking my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer in Tan. If you guys have a little bit more uh, trouble with your skin or your skin isn't cooperating, then you, I'm gonna use a brush instead. Then you can definitely use a foundation, but since I want this to kind of stay kind of light the skin I want the skin to look nice and light and fresh and I'm taking an everyday minerals brush here um, this is a really small precise brush that I love to use for concealing so I'm basically just wanting to keep the skin fresh nice and nice and clean um, I'm actually gonna conceal the whole nose here and I think this makeup look, you can do it in no time. So this is a perfect everyday look as well. Like so on the chin, around the, the mouth area, especially because it makes our, it's going to make our lipstick look really, really pretty and nice and clean. Just a little on the forehead. You don't have to do too much, guys. So then here you can use a beauty blender. I know a beauty blender is not a drugstore product, so you don't have to use it, but I'm just going to take my finger. This is how I used to blend out my concealer before I got a beauty blender. And I'm kind of like not blending out my forehead all the way out to the sides because we're just going to be bronzing up that area anyway. So, so now we're just powdering up the skin. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and go on with the eyes. I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. palette. Now this palette is actually from Target, so you can get this at Target. I've owned this palette for a long time. This is a newer one because my old one was really, really ratchet. And I love it. The payoff is great for the price, I'm telling you. I'm going to be taking this peach, this peachy, shimmery champagne. It's a little shimmer color. On a big fluffy brush, I'm just applying this right over the top. Now I'm going to be taking this Everyday Minerals blending brush. Going into this kind of bronzy, orangey, red, dark brown. I'm just going to sweep this into my crease. I'm kind of rounding up the crease a bit because we're going to be doing a cat shape. It's usually cat shapes tend to elongate your eyes outwards. So if you kind of round out your shadow, it opens up the eyes. Now on to... The gel liner, I'm taking, I know the writing came off. This is an e.l.f. gel liner. So I know I normally go out of shot in like almost all my tutorials when I'm doing my gel liner. So I'm gonna get a little handheld mirror right now just so I will stay in shot for you guys. So this cat liner, I'm gonna basically do kind of more centered towards the outer corner of the eye instead of going into the middle to the inner, into the inner corner. So I start about halfway and I super loaded up my brush just because this one is a little bit it's not too liquidy, it's a little bit more cakey, so when the formula is a little thicker, you always want to load up your brush a little bit more to get a really dark line. <sighs> so, what I basically do is I line just the top outer half of the eye first, and then I kind of just wing it out where I feel like it should be winged out. So, 
just wing it out straight like that and then bring it in. And then when I get the desired effect, I kind of just bring the line in the center. And that gives me that really nice, sharp, straight edge. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply mascara. I'm going to be applying false lashes because I feel like no cat eye... Oh. No cat eye is complete without falsies. If you guys know, I do tend to recycle, look at my hair. I do tend to recycle falsies a lot just because I like to save money. And also, there's absolutely nothing wrong with re-wearing falsies since they're just like, you can clean them off and just pull off the, the glue and they're like brand new. So I'm going to be taking these by Ardell. And I will, I forgot what the, these are, I think these are number 10 blacks, I think. I really like these. They really open up the eyes. Of course, you can cut them in half just so they're on the outer corners to further accentuate the cat eye. But I just like the way they look as is. So you always want to finish them off. Blah, blah, blah. You always want to finish them off with a little bit of mascara. So now on to the rest of the face. What I'm going to do is, and this is kind of like a trick I used to do all the time whenever I was younger in high school and I really didn't spend too much money on makeup. I used to just get palettes like these, so the same e.l.f. palette we used, and I would get kind of like the tan reddish color, and this is the color I used in the crease. And my little contour brush, I like this small one because I kind of just mush it together like this and just put it in the little square, tap it off, and chisel away. So this is a great way to get a bronzer and you know you can even if you have like a pink like even this pink here could be used as a blush if you want I'm really keeping this color to more towards the ear not bringing it in so much and then I'm gonna take a little bit up here on the forehead and I'm taking the little fluffy brush that I took this color on earlier through my crease and I'm just gonna go around the sides of the nose just like this and you don't need a cream contour product and it's super cheap. And I'm gonna be taking this NYX blush in Rose Garden. Kind of taking it pretty close to the eye, actually. And I love to do this. Kind of take it high up on the on the apples of the cheek because it really kind of contrasts nicely with the eye. So the face super easy, a lot easier than I've ever done a face look before. So for the lips. You can normally, you could do like a pink look. Um, I'm gonna do something a little bit different and I wanna show you guys how to kind of get fuller lips, the appearance of fuller lips. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a very, very dark plum purpley color and this one is the NYX Lip Liner in Nebula. So it's a pretty dark, it's pretty dark purple. So I'm going to line the outside of my lips with this dark purple. Now I will tell you guys that the important part of making your lips look bigger is lining it with a much darker color than your natural lip line and going through and overlining just a bit, not too much. And you can't use shimmery or glossy colors to overline ever or to line your lips at all because you're gonna be able to, it's gonna look really obvious if you do decide to overline and it's just not as clean looking. So you need to do a matte lip liner, always, always, always. I always start with my bottom lip first and I really overline the bottom part of this. So after I overline that, I kind of drag the lines in to, to meet my natural lip line. So now I'm going to do a top lip. My top lip is a little trickier because my lips are a little lopsided. This one, this lip goes in like straighter a little bit more. This one rounds out a little bit more. Some of us have that issue. Some of you don't, but I have that issue. So I round this lip out more and this one I just kind of follow the natural line. At this point, you can go through and kind of fill in a little bit. If you feel like you want them to be a little bit neater, you just take your little concealer brush and go around the edges. I'm going to be taking a lip brush and just kind of blending this out.
So now, instead of taking like a purpley color or a dark color, I'm going to be filling it in with a pink color. So I know it's a little bit different than what I normally do and it's kind of like not like a common thing to do, but I really like the look of it. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all, this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Addis Ababa. I don't know what that means. So you can go ahead and take your lip liner a little bit again and just kind of blend these two colors together. So, we're done. All right guys, so this is the final look. Very, very simple. This is probably one of the most simple tutorials I've ever done. It's honestly so easy to do. Anyone can do it and it's super affordable as well. So if you guys like the look, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me your comments down below. Thank you to those of you who did send in your requests via Snapchat. Send me all your wonderful snaps and you guys inspired me to actually do this look. And if you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of my future videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.